God does not want us to be ignorant about these things. He always wants you to know the truth. Do you know why people are being destroyed? The Bible doesn't say, my people are destroyed because of the devil. No way. We know that lack of knowledge. But how much do we... How much do we, uh, you know, try to get more and more knowledge of the word of God? We will be so quick to put on the world news, to hear the news and get the knowledge of the world. But how many times are we putting on the God news which comes from the word of God? And the more and more you feed yourself with God's news and the knowledge of God and you apply those principles, praise be to God, your life will become awesome. Praise God. Praise God. When God gives you His Holy Spirit, it's always for profit. <coughs> Please read the last one. There is something wrong if things are not made manifested in your life. If you are living as a Christian, if you call yourself a Christian, and there is no manifestation of God's Spirit, then there is something wrong with you. <coughs> because as a Christian, you have the Spirit of God dwelling in you, and that Spirit of God will always give you supernatural results. Let me show you. Anybody having pain in the body? Any kind of pain? What pain you got, Baba? You got back pain and leg pain. Okay. We are meeting for the first time, right? So we are not in the same team, huh? not, not a setup. Okay, please come here. Jesus, I love you. That's all. Okay, are you ready? Ready, baby? 100% sure. Okay? Close your eyes. And say this. Lord Jesus, you are my best friend. And I love you. Lord Jesus, this is the first time I got this opportunity to pray for this auntie. Lord Jesus, it is your word that you have said that all those who believe in you, when they lay hands on the sick, they are healed. Lord Jesus, as I am holding my auntie's hand, your power is flowing into her body and setting her free from this back pain and this leg pain. My dear auntie, Jesus loves you and His Holy Spirit has set you free from the back pain and the leg pain. In the name of Jesus, you are set free. You are healed right now. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Now do what you could not do with your back. Now is it there? Oh, it was not there before she came up there. <coughs> yes, the baby. Comes and goes. So what do you do when it comes and goes? Rest. What words do you use? Okay, you had a leg pain at least? There was a leg pain. Now is it there? So you don't use the word of God to get rid of it? But when you came in, you had no pain. Mm. Ah. 
Sorry. I'm sorry. The plan was not. <laughs> Anybody else had a pain? Anybody else got a pain? And I'll explain. Anybody else got a pain? You got a knee pain. Okay. Anybody else? Somebody new. Somebody new. Come, come, come. You got pain? What pain you got? Last three years, I have severe pain from head to head and I got very bad accident in Goa. What do you got? Uh, accident accident in, in rickshaw. Accident in rickshaw? Yeah. So, in the... Uh, Marathi, what do you say? Marathi, tell me, 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 tell me,
Okay, that will go. But the pain is there. Now she's trying to spike. <laughs> you know this sweat which has come is the power of God working in you. Your leg is completely healed. It's gone. Isn't it gone? Can you see her sweating? She wasn't sweating now. What did this baby do? Just spoke the word. If this baby could do that prayer and this lady can be healed, is it difficult? No. Just march? March? Left, right, left, right. No, no, yeah. just, just there only. Lift your leg. <laughs> no pain? Yeah, arthritis is gone. Now you got to believe that. Now every day keep on thanking God that arthritis is gone. <clears throat> Change your imagination and that finger will be loosed. It will be loosed in one week. Only if you do that homework. Thank you, Jesus. I am set free from arthritis. Okay? Good. Congratulations. Look at her sweating. Nice, no? Come, kya tai? First time you are praying? Nervous? Oh, you all both came together. Okay, are you ready? See, first thing remember, you are not going to heal her. The Spirit of God in her is going to heal her. You have to only believe and speak the word. Okay? Okay? Close your eyes. Put your hand on her, on her shoulder. Close your eyes. And say this prayer. Lord Jesus, for the first time, I am praying over somebody. Close your eyes, close your eyes. Concentrate on every word that you speak. What happened? Hello, what happened? Tell me. Doesn't matter. That's God's love. You know, you know, you are crying because of God's love. You got a good heart. Sorry? You came for your daughter. I want to tell you. Now, when you lay your hand and this sister gets healed, can't you go and lay your hand on your own daughter? Yes. Will she not get healed? Yes. I've come here to teach you how to drive your own car, sister. Praise the Lord. Praise I don't Lord. want to be a driver, but to teach you how to drive. Yes. yes. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Listen. When you lay hands and you pray for her, she gets healed. Then you go and lay your hand on your daughter. She gets healed as well. Yes. Are you ready? Come on, lay your hand. And say this, Lord Jesus, I've come here for my daughter. And I heard you are able to do exceedingly, abundantly, far more than I can think, think, imagine, or ask through the power that is working within me. Lord Jesus, I did not know that there is power working within me. I just now saw the small girl made a prayer and instantly the lady was healed. She was sweating. Lord Jesus, I saw it with my eyes. I believe your word. And right now, as I am touching my sister, Lord Jesus, your word says, you are the same yesterday, today and forever. I ask you Lord Jesus to go to that time when this sister actually met with that accident. 
Lord Jesus, whatever has gone wrong in her life, in her body, right now, by the power of your spirit, let there be restoration. In the name of Jesus, every nerve, every tissue, every muscle, every bone, receive the word of life. Receive the life in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, I thank you. Your precious blood has cleansed her. And this word of testimony, my testimony, you are hearing and you have given up the victory. My dear sister, Jesus loves you. Jesus blesses you. And Jesus heals you. Through my hands, the anointing is flowing into your body, into your body, the operation is taking place, into every organ of your body and you are set free, completely set free, every pain has left you and Jesus has healed you, Amen, Amen, now do what you could not do. Do what you could not do. Free? Yeah. And then, movement of your hand. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Yeah. Free? Yeah. Legs? No, no. Leg, what is the problem? But now there is no